Warden Bay and Laysdown has no holiday care provision and Kent Extended Schools coordinators consulted widely with local groups and identified there was a need for a holiday care scheme to be provided. Working with other interested partners including Swaleborough Council, Warden Bay Parish Council, Sheppey Matters and East Church Primary School, a holiday care scheme was organised in October half term 2009 at Warden Bay Village Hall for children aged 5 to 12 years with care and activities provided each day. Traditionally in the winter months children from Warden Bay don't have any activities they can do because uh, the area closes down for the uh, winter and it was felt that services uh, couldn't be provided at the local schools because the children have to be bused to that school to attend it. So we identified the village hall as a good venue for kids to attend um, and uh, set, set about planning uh, this um, project. Um, hopefully we'll get a little bit of publicity out of it to be honest, we'll get a few more kids here to our youth club um, and just give the kids some opportunities because obviously we're down at the other end of the island, there's not a lot of opportunities here and we'd just like to give them a little bit more to do, hopefully keep them off the streets for the half term really. So, yeah. We have around 150 children that come to school every day on buses from Warden Bay and it makes it very difficult to organise anything after school for them quite often because their parents find it difficult to, to pick them up, they haven't got any transport and it's even more difficult in the holidays. Um, I think it's very important that this play scheme runs in Warden Bay because it gives children the opportunity, especially in the winter when it's miserable weather and there's nowhere to go and nothing to do except maybe a bit of a muddy park and I think that a scheme where children are encouraged to play and join in with activities can be nothing but a good thing. Hi, I'm uh, Luke, I'm work for Swell by Council Sports Development trying to encourage youngsters to take part in sport and not just sit at home. Today we've done triathlon which has been a great success, it's definitely one of the best activities of the week. Jade, you've been working here today with the kids doing arts and crafts. Yes. Tell me about it. Well, it was murders to be quite honest at first because we couldn't figure out how to get the box together. So that was a bit eventful. We've thrown sequins and glitter everywhere, but I've actually had a really, really, really good day. Today we're um, coming to the community just to promote the Kent Farm Rescue Service, give the um, hands-on approach to the, to the young children, um, to give them an idea of what we do also get some of our fire safety messages across because we do, we do it in schools but it's also good to get it out in their community as well. In, because firefighters they always work in teams it's really important in the fire rescue service to have teamwork. How's the day gone? Very good. It's interesting to note that one young lad said that he didn't really listen when a fire officer came into yeah, the school. So again, that makes us feel better about trying again to perhaps get through to him in a different environment. I'm uh, Pat Sandal. I'm the ward member for the eastern end of Sheppey, which is um, the second highest deprived area in Kent. Um, we have very few facilities for the young people, mostly which are provided by um, the community. There's a lot of community involvement, but the facility um, in October half term was very well re reused and, and um, we had lots of, uh, even families come down there to look at it and it's the sort of thing that's essential for our end of the island um, to occupy the young people um, in half term, out of school hours, because um, there isn't much up there. Transport to get anywhere else is terrible. Um, and we do need those facilities. Sheppey Matters delivers the Rural Youth Project and have been delivering services including the youth provision at Walden Bay for a considerable time. 
This includes a weekly after school club and youth club. This year, by joining forces with KCC Extended School Programme, we were able to offer a half term out of school provision. Rural youth workers worked in partnership with other agencies to deliver a five day programme of exciting activities and opportunities. Sheppy Matters and Extended Schools have enjoyed this partnership approach and hope to continue this in the future for the benefit of the local community. I'm Shane. I'm Charles. I'm Kira. And who are you? We are Six Circus. Com circus. And what have you been doing today? Well, we've been helping the little ones teach circus, well, teach, we're teaching circus skills to them. What sort of skills? Diablo, sort of, maybe yeah, unicycling, fun wheels. Shane, why is it important that young people learn skills like this? So, so they can be um, encouraged to do stuff, more active, more active stuff instead of watching TV like me. <laughs> um, I think it increases confidence because um, if you like, if you're up on a stage and you don't know what to do, and now now you've got a skill for life, and you can show on stage and show other people. That's impressive. So what have you been up to? Yeah, we've done didn't you? And you just got on the ice. It was good fun. I'm telling you what did you do? Put the farmers calm, didn't you? Put the farmers calm. Turn around the mic. What are these? Tell me what else. What's what? these things you've got here? Um, scarves where you juggle things. Oh, scarves. Yeah. Can you show me Sorry. some juggling? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and what would you be doing if you wasn't here? So you need this really here, yeah, don't you? You're coming every day. I think every day has been quite memorable. The kids are fantastic. They all, they're all brilliant. The activities that they've done are amazing. Have you enjoyed yourself? I've really enjoyed this week. <laughs> okay. And was it fun? <laughs> Did you enjoy some of the juggling as well? Yeah. Did you do some juggling? And you've done drawings, and you've done pictures, and you met new friends. <coughs> and what does Mummy think of it? I think it's really good. I, I, I think she's really going to enjoy it. My, my son was supposed to come, but then he didn't change his mind. But I think tomorrow he might come. So yeah, it's really good. Great fun. My grandchildren are Shannon and Connor. Um, they've, they've come to this uh, club to give us a break and give, to give them something to do, and it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Have they enjoyed themselves? Very much so, very much so. What have they enjoyed most? Uh, just being away from us, probably. <laughs> no, they're, any activities they're, uh, they're interested in, you know. So. We did art after we finished doing art we made some play and when we finished that we went and did what we wanted to do. Was that a good day for you? Yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. How much did you enjoy yourself? Loads and loads and loads. My name's Jade Morris, I've been volunteering at the Walden Bay Rural Youth Project for about four maybe five years. Um, I think it's important on a personal aspect because I've grown up down here and I know what it's like to have nowhere to go in the winter and or in the summer holidays you just end up hanging around on the streets. Um, the week with the half term club was particularly good because we've never experienced anything like that down here before and it gave the kids things to do instead of being stuck indoors. Um, it's been a great success the week, um, obviously for the young people and the families who've had a, a really good time, but from an extended schools perspective it's been particularly useful as an example of partnership working um, together ourselves with Swellborough Council, um, Sheppy Matters, East Church School and uh, particularly the volunteers, the local volunteers here. We've all worked together, shared our resources, our expertise and our knowledge and that's been fantastic. 
I think it's also vital in um, these budget stretching times that we continue to do this. We have had um, you know, support from parents which have been most welcome, but I think in the short to medium term, the success and sustainability will actually depend on the partner, par partnership working and increased funding. I think what I remember most about this week, and it may seem a little bit of a cliche, is when one young um, boy with you know, relatively uh, complex special needs um, described Monday um, as the best day of his life. And I think for me, that's what it's all about, really, and why we're all here and why we need to stay here working for the future of this area.